Many students find trigonometry difficult because they expect to learn or memorize so many formulas in the beginning. And if the student is unable to learn them, he or she finds trigonometry difficult and comes. See, see there are so many formulas. So many formulas in the beginning. So, in this video, I'm going to show you some simple tricks to learn so many introductory formulas. So first of all, let's start with learning these formulas. Sine theta is equal to opposite upon hypotenuse. Cos theta is equal to adjacent side upon hypotenuse. Tan theta is equal to opposite upon adjacent. Cosec theta is equal to hypotenuse upon opposite. Sec theta is equal to hypotenuse upon adjacent. Cot theta is equal to adjacent upon opposite. So let's see how to learn these beginning formulas. First of all, I want you to understand that there are three basic trigonometric identities or functions of sine, cosine, which is also written as cos, and tan, which is also said to be tan. Then we have cosec, then we have sec, and we have cot. So sine, cosine, tangent, cosecant, secant, and cotangent. And then you need to learn this particular mnemonic. Old Harry and his old aunt. You need to learn this. Old Harry and his old aunt. Now what's this? This basically is opposite upon hypotenuse. So you just I'll put a division sign. So sine theta is opposite upon hypotenuse, while cos theta or cosine theta is adjacent upon hypotenuse. Simple. Then tan theta or tangent theta is opposite upon adjacent. That's it. So sine theta is opposite upon hypotenuse. Cos theta is adjacent upon hypotenuse. Tan theta is equal to opposite upon adjacent. In the very same way, cosec theta is just the reciprocal of hypotenuse upon opposite. Then sec theta is hypotenuse upon adjacent. And cot theta is adjacent upon opposite. So you need to remember that sine and cosec are reciprocal to each other. Cos and sec are reciprocal to each other. And tan and cot are reciprocal to each other. So I can simply write this as sine theta is equal to opposite upon hypotenuse. Then cos theta is equal to adjacent upon hypotenuse. And then tan theta is equal to opposite upon adjacent. The very same way cosec theta is equal to hypotenuse upon opposite. Then sec theta is equal to hypotenuse upon adjacent and cot theta is equal to adjacent upon opposite versus adjacent upon opposite. Now let's move further and try to learn the other formula. For example, sine theta is equal to cos 90 minus theta, cos theta is sine 90 minus theta and so on. And sine theta is equal to 1 upon cosec theta, cosec theta is equal to 1 upon sine theta, sec theta is 1 upon cos theta, cos theta is equal to 1 upon sec theta and so on. So how to learn all this formula? It's a very simple thing. First of all, learn the structure and positions. Sine, cos, cosec, sec, cot, tan. You need to learn the structure and position just once. Sine, cos, then we have cosec, sec, cot, tan. Sine, cos, cosec, sec, cot, tan. That's it. You need to learn these positions. And now, these two, sine and cosec, I've connected them using these crosses. So why are these crosses? Sine and cosec have reciprocal relationships. For example, sine theta is equal to 1 upon cosec theta. Sine and cosec are reciprocals of each other. And just the vice versa. Cosec theta is 1 upon sine theta. That's it. So these two are reciprocals of each other. Similarly, 
boss and sec are basically the structure. Remember, we have already learned the structure sine, cos, cosec, sec, or ten. So you just need to understand that these two neighbors are reciprocals. These two neighbors are reciprocals of each other. These two neighbors are reciprocals of each other. So we can write this as cos theta is equal to one upon sec theta, and just the vice versa, sec theta is equal to one upon cos theta. And the third reciprocal relationship, cot in ten, so tan theta is equal to one upon cot theta, and the vice versa, cot theta is equal to one upon tan theta. So by just knowing that these neighbors are reciprocals, these neighbors are reciprocals, these neighbors are reciprocals, we have learned one, two, three, four, five, six formula. Further, nine formula. See, if we cross multiply sine and cosec, sine theta into cosec theta, we get a 1. Cross multiplication. Similarly, cosec into sine is also 1. It's the same thing. Cos and sec, they are the reciprocals of each other, and when you multiply any two reciprocals, you get 1. So, cos theta is multiplied by sec theta is equal to 1. In the very same way, tan theta into cot theta. Is also one. So these crosses not only imply that they are reciprocals of each other, but they also imply that when you multiply sine theta multiplied by cosec theta, you get one. So we have learned three formulae from this, but we can derive six more. So we have learned nine formulae from this. These are reciprocal relationships. Now let's move further. Now again the same structure, sine cos cos x sec cot 10, we are not disturbing that structure. But now it's interesting to learn that these neighbors, sine and cos, cos x and sec, cot and 10, they share 90 minus theta relationship. What does this mean? This means that sine 90 minus theta will give us cos theta and vice versa. Cos 90 minus theta will give us sine theta. The very same way, cosec and sec also have a 90 minus theta relationship. So, cosec 90 minus theta will give us sec theta. And sec 90 minus theta will give us, yeah, cosec theta. And cot and tan also have a 90 minus theta relationship. So cot 90 minus theta will give us tan theta. And tan 90 minus theta will give us cot theta. And also we studied that cot and tan are reciprocals of each other. So they share two relationships. One, they are the 90 minus theta of each other. And the second one is they are reciprocals of each other. Now where do we apply these things? For example, if I write sine 60 degrees. I can convert this as is equal to cos 90 minus theta in a way of theta is 60. So it's 90 minus 60 is equal to cos 30 degrees. And we know sine 60 is root 3 upon 2 and cos 30 is also root 3 upon 2. So in many sums 90 minus theta relationships are very very important. So again we have learned 1, 2 and 3 formula but out of those three formula, we have derived three more. So in all, we have learned six formulas by just knowing that these neighbors are the 90 minus theta of each other, while sine and cosec were reciprocal to it, as we saw in the previous page. And finally, let the same structure is there: sine cos, cosec sec, or tan. The only thing is. In this Pythagorean trigonometric identity, we use a square. We have just added a square to each function, to each trigonometric function. And as we can see over here, sine square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. That's it. 1 plus 10 square theta is equal to 6 square theta. 1 plus cot square theta is equal to cos x square theta. There is no connection between sine square and 
cos cos x square over here. So I've just put a small partition. So the first formula that we learned is sine square theta plus cos square theta is equal to one. Sine square plus cos square is one. That's as simple as that. The second formula that we learned is the one in green. One plus tan square theta is equal to sec square theta. And the over here, one in blue. One plus cot square theta is equal to cos x square theta. So we have learned three important functions, addition functions. But all these functions have square, so remember that. Now we can derive one or two extra formula from these formulas. Suppose if I take this cos square over here, it will become minus cos square. So sine square theta is equal to 1 minus cos square theta. Or if I were to take sine square theta over here, I would have got cos square theta is equal to 1 minus sine square theta. So we have derived two more formulae from this one formula in the same way. Taking this as the example. If I take 10 square theta on this side, I get 1 is equal to sec square theta minus 10 square theta. If you remember, plus 10 square theta goes over there becomes minus 10 square theta. The same way, if this quad square theta goes over here, 1 is equal to cos x square theta minus quad square theta. You can simply learn like this also. Sec square theta, instead of this equal to, just put a minus sign. And take this equal to over here. So 6 square theta minus 10 square theta is equal to 1. And cos x square theta minus cos square theta is also equal to 1. So instead of equal to, we we'll write a minus. And instead of this plus, we write a minus. So again, we learn three formulae. But we can derive um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 more formulae. So in all, 7. And so on.